home. Once again, I'm your host, KB Tindall, RCRD Weekend, downtown Santa Ana, unifying and bridging the gap between artists in the Orange County area. Right now, I'm chilling with the boy, Jay Taj. What's happening, Jay? Yo, powerful performance, man. Powerful words, man. Serious bars. Um, great crowd control, man. Definitely things that I, you know, that I look for when I'm checking out artists, man. And, and you brought that tonight, man. Much Definitely brought that tonight, man. Thank you. Give me a little bit of your history, man. Talk to the people at 10 TV. Tell us a little bit of your history, Dan Santa Ana, man, and how you got to the point where you are now writing the things that you're writing. Man, you know, uh, born and raised in the city, right now, on the west side of the river, man. Started rapping around 15. Uh, yeah, man, you know, just kind of like collected life, trying to surround myself with dope MCs. You know, I come from a, a lineage of rappers, you know, my uncles and stuff, my uncles, uncles, everybody was musicians. So I got put in the studio at a young age. And, you know, just kind of, luckily, was surrounded by people who, who uh, cared about consciousness and attention. Mm -hmm. You know, so when it comes to what I write now, it's like, you know, it's, through the years of the ups and downs and dropping projects and then flopping, you know, the, the the, the key factor to where I'm at now is just you know, uh, being good at forming relationships. Right, you know what I'm right, right, right. Uh, you know, on top of that, just like whatever I do musically, but the most important part was just trying to connect with people like you, connect with all the different people in the city. Right. So that when you come to a place like this, you have a real standpoint and influence. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, the journey's been crazy. You know, I wish I could sum it up into a few seconds, but right, right. you know, it's been you. everything from being signed to labels, getting mm -hmm. dropped from labels, being signed to labels. Having to cut contracts with labels, you know, yeah, so yeah, absolutely. that whole shit, and just yeah. you know trying to do my best to grow up and be a man, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Trying to make good decisions. Right. Here we are now. Yeah. Happy to be part of the first time they're doing this. Yeah. You know, I'm a busy dude, but yeah. I'm yeah. very yeah. happy. Yeah. Yeah. You came out tonight and did very the thing, man. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, what, what's the name of the joints that you perform in that? Oh, uh, uh, started there. Started off with Devil's Home off of Ten Four, my last album. Okay. Followed up with She Ain't No Good Part One. Okay. Which is also on the album, and She Ain't No Good Part Two, which is also on the album. And then I closed with a. Oh, the record I did after that was called One One One. One One One. It was a, right. uh, it was a spare record that I did for the album that came out a year ago. I did it for the album, but I never made it. Mm -hmm. So I put it out on Spotify about six months later. Okay. And that's just like a single on its own. And then I closed it off with just a little freestyle. Right. Oh. I know Santa Ana's been played, you know, with, with a lot of violence and stuff like that, man. And, and you talk about that in your music. Um, you know, having an event like this, like RCRD Weekend, man, you know, bridging the gap and, and bringing people from all over this, this area, you know, to, to come together and collaborate with each other, man. Um, what, what, what do you see yourself like doing? What is it that you want to do to try to bring more awareness outside of just the music, you know, to the things that are going on in the community and how we can better? Well, I have a, I have a non-profit called Home Studio. Okay. And so, while that's not exactly directed directly towards, you know, uh, ending the violence in the, in the Orange County you know, area in the, in the inner cities of Orange County, right. it's not exactly directed towards that, but it is providing an opportunity for young people to be creative, for, for young people to come into the studio and instead of spending their time on the streets, in the studio creating records and, and uh, videos and graphic design and all of that. So that's the beginning of it, but just having an awareness of your influence, be it the music or social media, you know, when you create good content, people latch on to it when you're giving a voice. And, um, you know, we, we see over the last, you know, 10 years of social media, there's been a sense of uh, a lack of good use of, like, of responsible sources. You know right. what I'm saying? You have a lot of influence, and you got a lot of not just rappers, but people all over who aren't mindful to the way that they're uh, leering sort the of way that their message is, even just, in, you know, in their day-to-day -day lives, right. the way it tells young people how they can act. You know what I'm saying? And being somebody who's lost one of my brothers to, to get violence and, and, and many homeboys, mm -hmm. I feel like my responsibility is to just be a good person. So so to speak. Right, right. And as I create influence in different fields, be it music or any type of influence, being a good person, hopefully the way the society seems to be working is they, they look at somebody they look up to and they take after them. So me, the best I can do is just be a good person myself, try my best, even to make good decisions, and, and hopefully that inspires young people to do the same. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's, that, it's that image that you project, you know, you project a great image, you know, you have people that look up to that, yeah. and people that have something to follow, man, and that's always, that's always a good thing for the youth. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, tell the people what they can look out for coming from you know from you in the, in the near future. Absolutely. Well, you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I'm on all that digital every day. You know, I do hip hop news. I'm also part of a show called Off the Record, which is also on all that music. I'm part of a show called The Deep Dive, also on all that music. Uh, you know, I have the radio shows all on Dash Radio. If you just follow me on social media, you know, you can kind of find everything. In terms of music, 
Uh, ever since 10 4, I've just kind of like, when it comes to rapping, I feel uh, uninspired. You know right. what I'm saying? I just I said what I needed to say. Right, right. And uh, lately, I've been picking it back up. I play the keys, so I've been playing and producing for a lot of artists. All right. All right. Yeah, man, just trying to like move in silence and just right. trying to get my finances right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> so I have the freedom to do what I want. Business got to be right. Now. So, so I mean, just like I'm constantly creating, man, whether it be music or anything else. And if you're in any way able to see me on social media, you're able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, absolutely. J Todd, man, with pleasure for you coming through, man. Check him out on All Def Digital, man. You already know what it is. 10 TV is in the building, man.